Hey guys, welcome back. I am actually super excited about today. I've been waiting a couple of weeks for this specific day actually because it's super high tide and it hasn't even come up fully yet. I've been here when, when the tide is normal and this is, it, it looks like it's flooding. So it's kind of insane. I'm here, I'm going after some big sharks, big rays, hopefully. Some of the sharks out here are leopard sharks. There's seven gill sharks, both of which I caught in my last video. If you want to check it out, that's up there. And there's also a bunch of bat rays out here. So those put up a really hard fight. And there might be some guitar fish, which I've never caught, but I've always wanted to. Let's get this baited up. I'll show you my rig. We'll get it in the water and let's get some sharks. All right, here's my rig. I'm using a Carolina rig. Super simple. There we go. Sliding sinker using six ounce Sputnik sinker so that it sticks really well to the bottom because this is a mud bottom. Then I have this plastic bead to protect my knot. Got this 18 inch, 60 pound wire leader. And this because obviously sharks got teeth. So I don't want them biting my line. At the end of this, I got the jewel of it all. Boom, eight odd octopus circle hook. Always use a, a, a circle hook when you're going for sharks because it avoids them getting gut hooked. It always hooks them in the lip, makes for a quick, easy, and above all, safe release for both the shark and the angler. So super important, but I'll go over how to bait this and let's get our bait out. All right, let's get into the baiting. For my bait, I'm using a whole frozen Monterey Bay squid. How I'm putting this on, boom, at the top right there, back through, turn the hook around, through the squid one more time, boom, just like that. Leave that hook tip nice and exposed. This is gonna make the hook sets a lot easier. All right, the final step, I'm adding this bait elastic. Bait elastic is a crucial ingredient here, super important. Basically what it does is it keeps the bait in place and keeps it from coming apart. Sometimes squid can come apart a little easily. So I like to give it a really nice wrap and just like that, boom, there you go. It doesn't even require a knot. That is a bait and a half. If a shark or a ray comes across this, you better believe it's gonna eat it. I got two rods with me today. I'm gonna cast this one out, set up the other one. Let's get on some fish. There you go. Here goes bait number one into the water. Gotta get a nice wind up. I'm gonna hit this as far as I can. I just wanna get it into that really deep water where the sharks and the rays are. You know, I gotta use some momentum. Leaving that nice and tight. Let's get this rod in there. Got my, my second bait set up. Let's chuck that out. I'm gonna tighten this drag. Now we are set. Let the shark and ray hunting begin. That's a fish on. That's a fish on. Come on. Something just took a bite. No. My line snapped. Oh my god. How? Wait, I don't even know how that's possible. My line just snapped on that hook set. That hurts. I'm not gonna lie. That hurts. But good sign, that was like 10 minutes in. I'm gonna get this right back out there, you know what? Let's try this again, shall we? This is an eight foot swell today. I'm sure you can tell, but it's super windy out here. Those are waves, those are full on waves. We're in the bay, that's saying something. And literally back there, this looks like rice fields. <laughs> this never looks like this. There's usually a lot more grass than water. Eight foot swell, crazy. Probably only happens once a month-ish at most. I'm not sure. I'll have to check on that. We got a fish on. Oh, this is all. Oh no! Oh, this is a big fish. This is a big fish. Come on. Oh, it might have come off. I don't feel him on there. Oh no, he's on there. Oh no, he's on there. He's moving towards me though, so I got him real fast. Oh no, I just had to hit another, another rod. I just gotta take another rod. But I got something on this one right now. Two bites right now. Oh no. Oh, it's taking line, taking line. And my lines are tangled up. No. Oh. Gotta untangle these lines. Hopefully I, I hooked that fish well. Yeah, he's still on there. Feels like a stingray. Or a nice shark. 
Mark, come on. I see him. It's a stingray. It's a stingray. We got a stingray. Nice. Woo! Ah, oh, got him. Nice. Woo! First fish of the day. That is a nice stingray. Not the biggest stingray I've caught out here by far. I I've caught plenty of 50 pounders, but the current is ripping so hard that it's making it hard to fight even one this big. And stingrays are really hard to fight for their size just because of their shape. They are so flat that it it's hard to pull them. They just create a lot of resistance with the water. It's hard to pull them. But this is a sign that there's fish out there. Let me just get this hook out as fast as I can. All right, guys. So this beautiful little creature is a bat ray. It's a kind of eagle ray. They're called eagle rays because they, it looks like they're flapping underwater when they swim. And they can actually hit pretty high speeds by doing that. Uh, see, you can see right there, flapping. Ah, <laughs> please don't flap me. Ah. Okay, flapping like an eagle. Ah. Um, what else? We got his mouth. Look at that mouth. Look at that gorgeous mouth right there. And you got his eyes right above it. So these are bottom feeders. They scour the, the floors. They live in estuaries, in mud flats, just like this, everywhere with a muddy bottom. All along this coast, you can actually also find them in the Galapagos Islands. They make great shark bait, by the way. And they're just a really cool creature overall. You can see the nice eyes there, um, but yeah, and the barb, you can see the tail, you can see the tail, and you can see that barb, that big nasty barb, coated in slime, oh, close. The tail's actually not what can sting me, it's the barb itself, so I'm, I'm safe here if you're okay. Uh, but let, let's release this, this, this uh, bat ray, great start, but I'm hungry for more, let's go. Bat ray release. There it goes. I'm gonna have to move my rods back all the way back here. Let's get this rod rebaited. Let's get it right back in the water. All right, got some fresh bait on this one. Let's send it. High tide plus fresh bait plus the right gear at the right place means fish. Let's go. I just had a bite over here. Come on, pick it back up. That's for sure a bite. I just saw the raw tip go like this. But sometimes they let go. You just gotta wait on them. Put just a little bit of tension on that rod, but do not spook him. I don't want to move the, the sinker from the bottom. Very, very little tension. And if this fish comes back, it's going to have a bad day. Nothing's biting. So might as well show you the sunset. It's such a cool place. You can see the tide's gone down quite a bit though. This, this was all covered in water. It's not a great sign. We'll see if we got another bite, but I might have to wrap up soon. Guys, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to head home, but next time I see the tides are this in my favor, I'm gonna come back out here and I'm gonna try to catch a big one. However, if you enjoyed this video, please like it, please subscribe, and thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned, there'll be many more.